I'll take only 41 remaining questions you can solve by yourself. It says m dot 78, what is that, epsilon? No, this is not epsilon, whatever it is, e with a bar on top, 56 equals to 15. m at the rate 7 hash 13 is equal to what? You have to find out what comes in place of question mark. And for finding out what comes in place of question mark, you must first know what is m. And to find out what is m, you must first look at this equation. That's like step by step process there. And how do you simplify this equation? You use the rules. The rules are given, right? Look at rule number 4. x dot y and that whatever symbol it is, right? E, z or E, z means z is subtracted from y. See, this is like this. x dot y E, z, right? So this means z is subtracted from y. z is subtracted from y. So what do we do? y minus z, right? z is subtracted from y and the result is added to x. Z subtracted from y, z subtracted from y, and the result is added to x. So this is the result, this is added to x. So this is what we need to do in this case. And able to follow. Z subtracted from y, so y minus z, and the result is added to x. So now compare with this 78 minus 56. So which implies 78 minus 56 plus that x, which is m in our case, is equal to 50. Solve for m. What is m here? 78 minus 56 is 22, m will be 50 minus 22, 28, that's it, substitute this 28 here. So we have 28 at the rate 7, hash 13 equals to question mark. Now apply that rule, at the rate hash, first rule, x at the rate y hash z, x at the rate y hash z. Means what? x is multiplied by the sum of y and z. This means x is multiplied, x is multiplied, x into, right, I am going to start, x into y plus z. It x is multiplied with the sum of y and z. That's what we need to do. 28 is multiplied with the sum of 7 and 13. Right? Y and z. So 28 into sum of 7 and 13. 7 plus 13 is what? 20. 20 into 28 is 560. And that's your answer. Which question is this? Option 1, 560. In the following question, you have to identify the correct response from the given premises stated according to the following symbols. Okay, so basically if you see, uh, some mathematical operators have been used uh, in an in a expression here, but each uh, uh, operator has got a meaning, right? Like for example, it says greater than is equal to division. Uh, this symbol V is equal to multiplication, right? It's not X, it's multiplication. Then less than is equal to plus. That inverted V is equal to minus. Then plus is equal to plus into is equal to less than and minus is equal to greater than yeah so so we have to basically replace each of these uh, symbols here operators here with the right mathematical operator as given in the question and then find out which of this is correct yeah so this is a clerical job you just have to replace and find it out so let me just do that quickly so what happens this will become uh, 6 less than is plus uh, 2 greater than is division 3, this inverted v is minus 8, uh, v is into 4 and plus, plus is equal to 13. So just check if it satisfies, if this equation is correct or not, right? If the equation is correct, then that's your answer. Otherwise, go to the next option. Okay, so don't do the replacement in all the options initially, in the very beginning itself. That will not be of any help, right? So verify this one now. Now you have to apply the Bodmer's rule, right? Apply Bodmer's rule to get the answer. You just cannot say 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 divided by 3 and so on. First division. So 2 by 3. I think here itself I can say first option is going to be wrong because this will not result in an integer answer, right? 2 by 3 is 0.66. Now 6 plus 0.66 and, and then next will be multiplication. So 6 plus 0.66 is 6.66 minus 32 will not give you 13 as the answer. So, so I think uh, option 1 is ruled out. Look at option 2 now. What happens in option 2? Uh, 6 minus 2 plus 3 divided by this is 8 less than is plus 4 and minus minus is greater than 13 yeah now check this again apply bottom rule so 3 by 8 is the first operation remember this is not about equality here it is about greater than or less than right so we can also get a decimal answer on the left hand side so 3 by 8 right 3 by 8 is how much 3 by 8 is 0 0.375 right 0 0.375 6 minus 2 is 
minus 4 yeah I think minus so 6 minus 2 so, sorry 6 minus 2 is plus 4 right so 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 0 0.375 I don't think it will be greater than option 2 also is wrong yeah unless I have committed some mistake 6 minus 2 4 4 plus 4 8 it's all about being very careful right I mean there's nothing complex about solving this question but uh, you have to be just careful enough that you don't commit a mistake so 4 plus 4 8 8 and 0 0.375 will not be greater than 13 so option 2 is also ruled out in my view look look at option 3 try option 3 uh, 6 this is into 2 less than is plus so it becomes 3 then this is minus 8 greater than what is greater than greater than is divided by 4 and into into is less than 13 so check this now so 8 by 4 is 2 6 into 2 is 12 so 12 plus 3 15 15 minus 2 is 13 13 is not less than 13 13 is equal to 13 so I think 1 2 3 are wrong option 1 is wrong option 2 is wrong option 3 is wrong hence option 4 has to be the answer yeah option 4 has to be the answer and if you are sure about your calculation and uh, substitution that you have done here which is replacing the symbols with the right operator then you need not verify option 4 don't waste your time uh, in option 4 right option 4 has to be the answer 1 2 3 are wrong so option 4 has to be the answer all right